Hello and welcome back to Wall Street Trainings Advanced Excel for Data Analysis course. In this section here, what we will look at are pivot tables. Again, what are pivot tables? They are simply tables that pivot. Now, I know that's not very value added of an explanation, but you will see shortly in the second analysis that we do of pivot tables why it's called a pivot table. I actually think that pivot tables should be called data tables and data tables should be called sensitivity tables or whatever. But in any case, I didn't make up those labels and those uh, uh, functions and the uh, tools in Excel, but that's my two cents. In any case, let's take a look at our data set and see what we can do with pivot tables. Here I've got a hypothetical data set, in which case here we we're trying to capture a bunch of institutions that have invested in certain alternative asset classes such as private equity, private equity fund of funds, hedge funds, private equity, uh, sorry, hedge fund of funds, real estate, and in the entire alternatives category. What we're trying to figure out is the types of institutions such as a foundation, an endowment, corporate pension plan, public pension plan, four types of institutions, separated each by region, Europe, Asia, and North America. Plow through a lot of press releases, some poor analysts sat there, went through all these press releases and then said, well, XYZ company was a foundation in Europe and recently announced a 3.5% allocation of the assets under management, of which the total assets were whatever that amount is, and they invested it and they mentioned it, they were going to invest it in private equity. Likewise, the second, another example, XYZ company is a corporate pension plan in North America and recently announced a 10% allocation of their total assets under management into private equity fund of funds, so on and so forth. And the data set goes all the way down. By the way, the data that you look at here is all fake. This is all made up using the RAND function, the random function in Excel via actually VLOOKUPs and then combining with random to get a random generated number and then segmenting it because random in Excel gives you a number between 0 and 1 and you allocate it based on what range and how many types for, in this case, regions as well as product types and all the numbers were automatically filled in. So this data is not real. So what we want to do is as follows. We want to have an output that tells us perhaps the following information. We want an output that could tell us, I'm going to just go to the right here, that says something like, you know what, for every corporate pension plan, for every endowment, and for every foundation, and for every public, I want to know the average size, I want to know the min and the max, and I want to know the average percent of their AUM that they invested. And I want to know that repeated for each one, and I want it for every class, all alternatives all together, hedge funds, hedge fund of funds, private equity, private equity fund of funds, and real estate. You get the point. That's what I want. I want all these numbers to automatically be filled in. How would you do this normally? The slow way you might do this is to sort your data, possibly use an auto filter or a subtotal function, which actually we will look at after the pivot tables, and then look at it and say, manually write it down or copy a number and fill in the grid this way. Calculate the average, the max, the min of the size, calculate the take the average of all the percentages that were estimated. No, 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 no. Pain in the butt. Here's what we're going to do. I would like you to select from cell A11 is fine. We'll include the count. No big deal. Control shift down and right to select your entire data set from whatever that cell was, A11, all the way down to G161. Uh, now, follow my steps. You have selected your data set, including your labels. I want you to hit Alt D for data, P for pivot table. Alt D for data, P for pivot table. And then let's go through each of these steps. First, where is the data you would like to analyze? Well, it's a Microsoft 